200 years to fill the Library of Congress with all of its information. Today, we create that amount of information every 15 minutes. The future is going to be fun. If it's not, why bother going? The intelligent future will have many new ways to play. Smarter technology will blur the line between what is real and what is not. New immersive games require new ways to play them. Future gamers won't need a joystick or a paddle. They'll interact with their games directly from their brains, using devices like the Epic headset from Emotive. Our whole interaction with the virtual world is going to be far more natural. We'll be able to use our brain um, and our facial expressions and our emotional experiences to really experience content in an entirely new way. And what we've created is a brain-computer interface that really transforms the way that humans interact with machines. The Emotive Epic wireless headset has 16 independent sensors that pick up electrical brain signals on the surface of the scalp. We identify um, a signature for a particular thought or a particular emotion, and then in real time, we classify those brain patterns. So when you think it, it happens on the screen. You think push, the object propels forward. So now my master's showing me how to pull using that tree. And then he'll ask me to focus all my thoughts on pulling that tree towards me. There are 13 individual detections. Push, pull, lift, drop, left, right, and then rotation in six different axes in a 3D environment. You can even visualize an object disappearing, and it will. But the headset is more than just a brain-powered joystick. It allows the game to detect whether or not you're actually having fun. It observes your experiences, excitement versus calmness, immersion, tension, frustration, engagement. There are these mischievous spirit wisps that instead of pressing a button, I can scare away just by looking fierce. So, arr, arr. And you can notice by the sky color that I enjoy that part. So when it comes to future game playing, keep an open mind. We're really only at the tip of the iceberg in terms of what's possible. So will all this innovation in virtual reality gaming spell the end of a good old-fashioned night out at the movies?